as I'm often having this conversation with trainers and people in the health industry, just about the basics of, well, I don't have time to create content. I don't know what to create content on. What are you talking about? What's the best way to get my message out there? How do I get leads, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, I did just have a phone call conversation with a great trainer and she's been having a lot of success so far with just simply having her name registered at her place of business, so her physical address, and also Google AdWords. Now, at the time of making this video, social media, if you're gonna pay for advertising, social media ads are a lot cheaper and a lot more bang for your buck as far as you know, Facebook and Instagram, as far as if you're gonna pay for paid advertising, as far as circulation and engagement with people. Now, I don't think you have to pay for advertising though. I believe if you are putting out content consistently, and I don't just believe this, I know it to be true. Lots of my girls don't pay for ads and they get a lot of traction. Um, if you want some ideas, here are some ideas because I don't want to create this post without actually giving you some value. So make sure you're creating value, you're giving some value, some kind of value or some kind of entertainment for your crowd. Who are the people that are watching you? What are their desires? How are you going to help them? What are your rants? And that's the other thing, sometimes to come up with topics. Think of what are the common topics that you say to clients? So there's two ways that you can, two main ways you can do this. You can either batch create, so you can set time aside in your diary, like one hour, two hour, three hours, whatever. Make it a block every week and actually create, either create videos or create written posts that you are then going to post and circulate across at least two different platforms. When I say platform, it might be YouTube, it might be Instagram, it might be Facebook, it might be Snapchat. So create some content that you're going to put out. Now you can sit and batch create, or you can do it when the inspiration hits. Now, most of the material that you see from me, if I'm walking while I'm making it and I'm often sweating or something at the same time, it's because I love making content when the inspiration hits. Now, I also make sure that I tick the box that marketing is done for the day because it doesn't seem to matter what's happening, you need to make that a part of your religion. Otherwise, pretty soon the leads are going to dry up. Now, there's batch creating and there's inspiration. If you're going with inspiration, or if you're going for batch creating, actually, you're going to have to obviously write a list. If you're going for inspiration, I like to be inspired by the conversations that I've had with people from that day. So, for example, if I'm like <laughs> speaking to hundreds of people a day in the situation of a gym, obviously you're having similar conversations over the course of a week. It's not hard to come up with, oh, that's right, I really need to share that point because that's the third time I've said that this week to that person. So it's obviously going to make a difference and usually there's a common theme. You don't need to sit down and do omelette Monday, drink water Tuesday. I mean, it doesn't have to be that boring. Um, you really do need to put some meat behind your stuff. So as well as creating good content that's helpful, make sure you share stories. And I mean, they might be client stories. You don't necessarily need the testimonial directly from the client. Definitely get there okay if you're going to tag them though. I just personally think that that's manners. So you can write the story yourself about the person. What you can also do is obviously get a testimony from a client though. Social proof is definitely needed. Uh, so that people can obviously see what works for you, but make sure see how the last thing I have talked about And I actually haven't mentioned it. I haven't mentioned Creating creating ads that say buy my 12-week challenge or buy my stuff because very rarely out of all the content That you put out should you have any posts or ads that say buy my stuff why? Because unless you have engaged that person and have a relationship with them, they're not even going to look at your stuff anymore. Years ago, ads did work, like a blatant ad. One of my old ads got, I don't know, three or 400 applicants and they gave me their phone number. It was a blatant ad, 12 week challenge to get your post baby body back. That stuff doesn't work anymore. You need to have a relationship with the people that are there, your crowd, and you don't need hundreds, but you do need to resonate with some people, otherwise they're not going to click anything or they're not going to want to have a phone call with you, they're not going to buy your download or they're not even going to download your free ebook because there's so many hundreds of them around. So please remember that out of all that, you might do a couple of helpful posts, tell a story, testimonial, 
and then put up a buy my stuff. Or you could do that buy my stuff, which is called a call to action. You could put a call to action at the end of your stuff, which is only a couple of sentences. I hope that's been useful. Please share this video with anyone you think that it might have been useful for. And you know where I am if you would like me to help you. Talk to you soon.